Earlier this week, we celebrated the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul. And today, we visit the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls. It is the second largest church in Rome and was built during the first half of the 4th century at the request of Emperor Constantine. Here you will find the tomb of St. Paul under the main altar. It was almost completely destroyed in a fire in 1823, and Pope Leo XIII then was tasked with the restoration of the basilica. One of the most notable attractions here is the chains that were used to bind St. Paul as a prisoner in Rome from 61 to 63 AD. The public can venerate the chains which are displayed near the apostle's tomb. On St. Paul's feast day, June 29th, the chains are taken in procession around the basilica. The basilica also houses many statues, paintings and mosaics. When the Pope dies, the custom is to update the portraits by adding one of the newly elected one. From the middle of this vast basilica, you can see all the mosaic portraits of all the popes from St. Peter down to St. John Paul II. Another must-see is the candelabrum which holds the paschal candle created in the 12th and 13th centuries by renowned sculptors Nicola D'Angelo and Pietro Vasaletto. The 5.6-metre-tall marble column is divided into eight sections, all decorated with figures either showing biblical scenes or secular scenes and figures including animals and plants. Other highlights include the altar of St. Paul's conversion, the main nave, the mosaic of Christ and the apostles, and the holy door. The basilica is open daily from Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and from 4 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. It is only five miles from the Vatican. If you would like to share your church travels with us, send us the pictures with details to rfwmalaysia at gmail.com. Subscribe to our free daily nuggets at www.redeemforworship.com. This daily nugget is brought to you by Redeem for Worship. using Powtoon.